Coach Real Davis coming from MK Ministries, Worship One on One. We're going to be talking about today the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Um, when, when you start to really um, understand, you know, the Word of God and understand how to really walk with God, you understand that it's only three things the devil can try to use against us, and that's the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. And we go back into the story when Jesus, after Jesus was baptized by John, he was tempted by the devil. And the devil came to him with three little methods, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. And the Bible said that Jesus overcame the world. So the Bible says that in the world is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and pride of life. So when Jesus overcame the devil in the wilderness, he had overcame the world. And when we can overcome those three little things the devil tries to throw at us, um, we can overcome the world. You know, we can be saved. We can be set free from sin. You know, we can be made whole. And it's just a choice that we have to make, you know, whether we want to serve God or not. If you don't want to serve God, you can't overcome the world. But if you want to serve God, you know, he will be your help. He will be your refuge. He'll be your strength. Hallelujah. And so you got to make up in your mind that you want to serve God. You know, he said, with all, with, with God, all, with man, you know, this is not, this is impossible, but with, but with God, all things are possible. So it's possible to live perfect. It's possible to live holy. Because like I said before, perfection is not in the eyes of man, but it's in the eyes of God. God perfects us through the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. That's why you need his spirit in order to be perfected. You can't, we can't change. We can't change our ways. We can't change this heart. This heart is full of just of evil, you know, but with the Holy Ghost, you know, we have power to overcome, you know, the things that try to come against us. We got power to overcome ourselves, you know, so God is a good God. And so in the world is a lust of flesh, a lust of eyes, and a pride of life. I'm coming from 1 John 2, 15 through 16. I'm going to read that. Bible says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. So, as we see, all that's in the world is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. You know, Jesus wants to give us, Jesus wants to give you power. You know, Jesus wants to help you to resist the devil. And, you know, the Bible says if we submit to God and we, if we if we submit to God and we resist the devil, he will flee. First, we got to submit to God. First, we got to be obedient to God. When God is telling us to do something, when God is calling your name, hallelujah, you got to you got to answer the call. You got to do what God is telling you to do. Hallelujah, you got to submit to God. And that's the only way we can be delivered and set free hallelujah, from the hands of the enemy. Jesus, when he was in the wilderness, he submitted to God. Hallelujah. He he didn't do what he wanted to do. He he didn't do his will, but he did the will of God. Hallelujah. Because that's why the devil, he couldn't make him turn them stones into bread because he was submitted to God. Hallelujah. If he wasn't submitted to God, he would have got, he he was hungry. And he, he would have made them stones into bread because he had the power to do it. And the devil knew he had the power to do it. The devil, he, he knew the power of God. You know, the one that said, let there be light. And there was light. Hallelujah. So God can speak a word and it can be done. Hallelujah. So he knew the power of God. So that's why he told him to turn them stones into bread. But Jesus, hallelujah, it wasn't, he said, it's, it's not his will. Hallelujah. But the will of his father. So, and which is, you know, it's a mystery. You know, the will of his father. He's speaking of the spirit, you know, he because he is God. But he was speaking of the spirit. Um. So it, it's not our will, but it's it's the it's the will of God. You know, it, it, that's why we gotta have the Holy Ghost. You know, it's it's the Holy Ghost that leads us and guides us. So we gotta we gotta follow the Holy Ghost. You know, it's not our will, but His will. So you can overcome the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. 
I don't care if you got to pray every day. If you just got to, Lord, help me to overcome the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. If you got to just say that every day, if that can help you to be delivered and overcome this world, do it. Hallelujah. You ain't got to know billions and billions of scriptures. God is a, God, it's his, his will for us not to perish. So God's going to do whatever, you know, he has to do for us. Hallelujah. To help us. As long as we're calling out his name, as long as we're submitting ourselves unto him, as long as we submit ourselves unto him, we can resist the devil. But first you got to have the Holy Ghost to resist the devil. You got to be spiritually minded. You got to be spiritual in order to resist the devil because this is a spiritual battle. You know, we not we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rules of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Hallelujah. So we got to understand that this is not a natural battle. Hallelujah. You can't fight the devil naturally. That's why you got to have the Holy Ghost. That's why you got to have his spirit living within you. Hallelujah. So you can overcome the devil. You know, because you we got to fight. The Bible says that Jesus, when he was in the wilderness, he fought. He fought with the word of God. Hallelujah. He fought with the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Hallelujah. So we got to we got to make sure we have that sword. We got to have make sure we have the word. Hallelujah. Hidden in our heart that we might not sin against the Lord. Hallelujah. So we got to make sure we have this word down within us. That way we can fight. This word is our sword. This word is our the what, what we fight with. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. We you, you can have you can have faith all you want. Uh, you can have the the shield of faith, but without that sword, Hallelujah, you can't do nothing. Hallelujah, you are you just gonna be uh, uh, the shield of faith? I, I got faith. All I can do is just all I can do is just um just uh well, all I can do is just you know <laughs> defend myself. But I can't fight back. What what kind of mess is that? It, you can't defend yourself. You all you can do is just guard yourself. That's what I want to say. All you can do is sit there and guard yourself all day. You're gonna get tired eventually. The devil gonna wear you out because all you got all you got is a, is a shield. All I got is faith. I got faith. I'm saved by grace. I got faith. I'm, I got faith. I got faith. But the devil is wearing you out. You getting tired and tired. Because you ain't got no sword. Hallelujah. You got to have the sword of God. You got to have the word of God. Hallelujah. So when, when the devil was in, you got, that, you got that shield and you got that sword, to, you know, to knock him out. Because this, this is a real war out here. Hallelujah. You got to have that shield. You got to have your feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Your learns guard about the truth. The breastplate of righteousness. The helmet of salvation. Hallelujah. You gotta, your mind has to be delivered. Hallelujah. From the, from the sin. Hallelujah, because you can't you can't allow the devil to get in your mind. Hallelujah, that's what he wants to do. He attacks your mind. He attacks you to try to to do what you do what he wants you to do. But the devil is a lie. We ain't got we ain't got to do what he wants to do. We we can be the Bible says be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. How we got to renew our minds every day. Hallelujah. We got to be holy, acceptable in his sight which is our reasonable service. Present our bodies a living sacrifice. Hallelujah. So, Jesus was tempted in the wilderness, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be long. That's mostly what I was saying. It's just, you know, we gotta understand that you can be delivered. You can, you can overcome the enemy. You know, we got to fight. Ephesians, the sixth chapter, talks about, you know, how we can fight the devil. Fight the devil back. Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. If you resist the devil, he ain't got no choice. He ain't got no choice but to flee. So just be encouraged on today. You know, if all you got to do is, just, if, if, if all you can say, if you don't know no scriptures, then all you can say is just, Lord, help me to to. to overcome the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, God will start to reveal himself to you. God will start to open up your eyes. God will start to give you scriptures and give you word down within you that you can fight with. Hallelujah. God will start to give you mind, uh, scriptures to give you peace in your mind, peace in your spirit, peace in your heart. Hallelujah. But you got to first, God got to see some willingness. God got to see you submitting to him. God got to see you running after him and thirsting for him. Hallelujah. As the deer pant for the water. Hallelujah. So my soul longs after him. My soul, it, it, your soul has to be thirsty for him, the thirsty for the things of God, hallelujah, in order for God to 
to really move in your life. You got to always meditate on his word. Hallelujah. Day and night, you got to meditate on his word. Hallelujah. So we, we just got to continue to just submit to God and continue to resist the devil and he will flee from you. Just like he fled from Jesus in the wilderness, he can flee from you too. And once you, once you submit to God and resist the devil, once, once you get those three things down, you have overcame the world. Hallelujah. You are, you are overcoming the world. I'm not going to say overcame because it's a, it's a daily fight. He that endureth until the end shall be saved. So you have to endure until the end. Hallelujah. You can't, it ain't set once saved, always saved. You got to endure until the end. If you, if you don't endure until the end, you're going to die and go to hell. Hallelujah. So you got to endure until the end. Hallelujah. And just like in a race. Hallelujah. If, the, if, a, if you got, if I'm in a race and a track meet or something, I can't, I can't just give up. I got to finish it to the end. Hallelujah. In order for me to, you know, get that gold medal, get that crown, I got to finish it to the end. I can't give up, you know, just because, just because I feel like I'm losing. I got to keep running. I got to keep going. You got to keep going. And hallelujah. And, and, and receive the Holy Ghost. Submit to God. Hallelujah. When you submit to God, he will fill you with his spirit. Hallelujah. And so God wants to, God wants to help you. God wants to help you to resist the devil. God wants to help you to overcome the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. In Jesus' name.